This PDF is for DA06-1054 .01. The .01 is the amendment that you're looking at that was made several years after the initial approval in 2009. This amendment is dated the 23rd of December 2011. Now, this LAPS DA is at the core of the current application from Nightcap on Minjimble. That is DA 21-0010. This consent identifies the lots. Now, if you're actually trying to find lot 3 DP 771335, you actually won't find it. It has changed its lots num lot number. It actually re refers to lot 11 DP 119447. This DA consent that was originally given came from documents that Peter Van Leishout lodged in 2006 with regards to his Nightcap Village development. In 2006, this title page did not look like this. In 2006, the titles were allocated as such. These two that are actually now 3222 and the owned by the company NCV Enterprises were still in the hands of the farmer, Mr. Bryant, Mr. and Mrs. Bryant. All these other lots up here, marked in different colours, were associated and still are with Peter Van Leishout. All of the ones except for uh, this pink one and this one here, all of these are held by Peter Van Leishout in the company name that he is sole director and shareholder of Zimmerland Proprietary Limited. This pink lot here is held in the name of Kemp Cove Proprietary Limited and Peter Van Leishout is sole director and shareholder of that. This lot here on this map shows that the registered proprietors were Andre, Florian and Ingrid Stafflu and Peter Anthony Van Leishout. That is not the current situation. This lot here is currently Peter Van Leishout has 50% of that lot. A quarter of that lot is Dolph Cook and another quarter of that lot is Darko Kovac. Now of all those titles there are only three that are actually relevant to DA 06-1054 and that is the whole of this pink lot, this lot here 121 and this little bit down here and oh no not that bit, that bit goes all the way around there. So none of the other titles have come into it at this stage or are anywhere near relevant. They have got nothing to do with the Nightcap Village development that Peter Van Leishout has in mind. So if you break down the land into sections, this section here is all that was proposed to be included in the village that was approved for Stage 1 Roadworks construction on DA 06-1054. All of these other land titles had nothing to do with it. This pink bit down here was until 2015 when it was purchased in a deceased estate belonged to the Bryants. Then it became the problem of the Bulla Bulla community and the investors of Wollumbin Horizons Proprietary Limited. Wollumbin Horizons Proprietary Limited went into liquidation. At that liquidation sale at auction last year, fellow member company NCV Enterprises purchased 
back the land to the community. Now just over here has been put on an overlay of the concept of the village that Peter Van Leishout wanted to create in there. So we're going to zoom in a little bit on it's not very good in much in scale it's a concept it does actually none of the images that are in the old DA actually are to scale you cannot apply them in in a scaled form onto Google Earth it just does not work now before I actually talk about the village concept this whole area up here is also part of it as well when the application was approved for roadworks stage one up here is Misty Mountains Cabins tourist accommodations that has been running for the last decade. Now in the current development of Nightcap on Minjimbal, let me just overlay the houses for you these areas here are planned where the houses are going to go they are right in amongst this tourist accommodation there is nothing to indicate the status of what happens with that tourist accommodation when these house lots go in this is a discrepancy in the planning I suppose you would say Another discrepancy is also the fact of the road infrastructure that they actually have in mind to ask for stage one permission this time. So this, I'll just zoom out a bit and let you have a look. This is the road network structure that is part of the stage one development application for DA 21-0010. Now over here these roads here there's two of them this one and this one here. It does not account for any of the other roads that are in this concept of the development application. Now here's another image of the concept overlaid. Again it's the same kind of thing with roads everywhere. This is the closest to a scale drawing that you could actually get. This one was done in 2009 but it is still not scaled enough. These things here represent the dams which are up over here and if you pull them up over there the roads are all skew with but regardless of that you have still got um, a problem with this concept does not represent the road infrastructure that is being applied for in stage one and here's another image again this is probably the closest representation except that this dam is up here a little bit further but this dam is pretty much in the same location although you can't bring it in further to represent how it's scaled at that size this is actually going over into other people's properties at the scale it is so as I said none of the drawings are actually scaled and will fit onto Google Earth in a scaled situation and there are no current diagrams of what is proposed in this village even though it forms the core part of the current development application there is no clear concept that has been updated since well 2009 was the last image but it is still based on a 2006 diagram with a road network that will not exist if stage one development of Nightcap on Minjimbal is approved there won't be the roads there for this. 
So there is, in essence, no concept of the village that they will put in there. This was what Peter Van Lyshout wanted to do all those years ago, and it is not valid. I don't know how they expect to explain the concept of the village and expand out on that, which it appears to be that all the other appendixes are actually an expansion on this lapsed development application. So this is the core of the development application, and yet at its very core they cannot even explain what that concept is. Now, as you can see here, these are the ATSIC extract details on Kemp Cove Proprietary Limited and Zimmerland Proprietary Limited. As you can see, that currently the director, uh, sole director, and shareholder of both Kemp Cove and Zimmerland is Peter Van Lyshout. For a very short time in Kemp Cove, there were other directors and shareholders but that was for a very short period of time indeed. This is Peter Van Lyshout, and he is the man that's responsible for this, Nightcap Village, a master planned rural village. This is the concept that I've just showed you. Now, in the Appendix G of DA 21-0010, there are several, most, the bulk of the Appendix G relate to DA 06-1054. There are, in essence, two sections, Volume 1, Volume 2, and then all the Council's documentation after that. Now, in Volume 1 here, you will notice that it was prepared by Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited, August 2006. And it's not unusual to think that the Nightcap Village concept plan, the Nightcap Village, is actually prepared for Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited in August 2006. Here's the second major part of the the um, development application volume 2 technical reports again prepared for nightcap village proprietary limited august 2006 now here we have another discrepancy because i've just showed you that peter van lyshout and there are other documents in the included PDFs with the DA, the current DA, that actually Peter Van Lyshout states and signs that he is the sole owner, shareholder, director of Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited. Now if you look at the left hand side here where I have got listed the ATSIC information about Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited. Now there are several things that you would need to know about this is that there is no other listing for Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited. There is only one listing. There is no previous use of a bu registered business name, no previously trading as names for anything. This is the only Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited. And I'm making a point of that because Peter Van Lyshout represented Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited in August 2006. The first time that Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited actually became a legal entity was on the 27th of June 2016. He could not have represented Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited 10 years before it became a legal entity. He may have been using that as a name, but it has never been a legal entity. Kemp Cove and Zimmerland, as I showed you, are legal entities. From when they start to be a legal entity is when they first become registered. 
Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited first became a legal entity on the 27th of June 2016, 10 years after Peter Van Leishout was putting in his original DA application, DA 06-1054, where he actually says that he is the owner, uh, shareholder, director and chairman of Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited. That is a discrepancy that I don't know how the ATSIC records can explain that, nor Mr Van Leishout representing a company that doesn't actually legally exist until another 10 years later. But the strange coincidence of that company is that Peter Van Leishout was actually a director of it. And through one moment. And through Zimmerland up here, he is still a current shareholder of Nightcap Village Proprietary Limited that was first incorporated 27th of June 2016. On the 10th of March 2017, he became a director. On the 14th of September 2018, he resigned as director. Four days later, he became a director of NCV Enterprises and resigned about three months later. You can see here in the previous shareholders that Zimmerland, which is Peter Van Leishout, had shares also in NCV Enterprises. He does not currently have any shares or any interests in NCV Enterprises. NCV Enterprises Proprietary Limited is the current applicant that lodged the Nightcap on Minjimbal development application, which includes the area and part of DA 06-1054. So we've investigated that part. The people that are behind NCV Enterprises Yadaki Capital is Mark McMurtry, Director and Secretary, uh, Director, sorry. Derek Zillman is also a Director as well as the Secretary. The shareholders are Zillman nominees, who is uh, Derek Zillman. Nyepi was Adrian Brannock until he transferred the shares just prior to his final bankruptcy hearing into his wife's name and first in time is Mark McMurtry. So over here, the first shareholder of NCV Enterprises is these three people here that represent Derek Zillman, Adrian Brannock and Mark McMurtry. So that's in your darky capital. Then as shareholders of smaller factions down here, we've got Again, Derek Zillman and Nyepi again as Adrian Brennock through his wife. And these last two, after completing at six searches last week, Jess Coldings and Winner Super are both um, Craig Oldroyd. As I said, the the history behind this development application is multifaceted. You have to actually look at the history of two different parts that ended up coming together to form this one big nightcap on Minjimbal development. But there are obvious flaws in what has been presented. The one is any clear concept that has been updated of the village at all. This concept of the village back in 2006 involved roughly around 2.3 square kilometres. The current nightcap on Minjimbal, which incorporates that, 
is looking more to 16 to 17 square kilometres. It is a much more extensive development than what the original DA 06-1054, that PVL, Peter Van Leishout, submitted to council and had approved. And with this reintroduction of the village as the core concept of the meeting place for the residential area, the original concept of Peter Van Leishout's village was to provide a residential area that was also inclusive of a commercial area that would provide buildings for businesses to be set up and provide income to the, to the members of the community, the residents. Instead, all the residents are now dispersed out over here and up here. None are planned in this area. So what is the commercial aspect of the village that is now going to replace that? The one that is mentioned by Adrian Brannock as being the village community centre where they're going to set up the pub, the uh, medical centre and other things that they haven't actually detailed but other things. So this commercial district that is part of the nightcap on Minjimbal devel development, that is part of this development application, DA 21-0010, where is the concept of what they want to put in that commercial area? There is no concept. It is still going on information that is based on a lapsed development application and at the very best the most current information is 2009. It's at least 10 years old and it does not fit on the infrastructure of the stage one roads that they want to create. All these things here are intended roads and the only intended roads that they wanted to put in, or they, Peter Van Leishout, was this, these blue roads here. Was never going up the back. Up this area, I'm pretty sure, another diagram shows that's where he was going to have a sewerage treatment plant. And this was one plant that was actually going to service the whole community. But in one video I will present the comments that came from the presentation of this concept back in 2006. Those comments were included as part of the submission to Council and it brings up a lot of issues that are still current and still valid and the number of people that Peter Van Leishout wanted to put into that small area was in the hundreds. It may have become more spread out over this way, but over here where he planned to do it all, that was cattle grazing land. And it, it wasn't going to impact too much on the wildlife. Whereas all the residences that they are now planning are going to encroach on the natural wildlife. So much so that there is, you relocate the wildlife corridor to a different corridor because um, it's not a good thing to mix development and wildlife. And that's the thing that if it was a matter of do no harm, as is the philosophy, you would not be doing even half of what's proposed because it does do too much harm to the natural ecosystems. Now, whether it's plantation, eucalypts or not, these are now established ecosystems with thriving wildlife. And you do not go in there and displace all that wildlife. So that is the, the land that's associated with it. The history of 
Peter Van Leishout's involvement with the land and how he is the majority land owner and has formed partnerships with previously Wollumbin Horizons and currently now with NCV Enterprises who are essentially the same members because Adrian Brennock was actually Wollumbin Horizons and most of the people that were actually behind the first development of Wollumbin Horizons are actually the same people behind it now. Minus Mark Darwin, but most of the people that are involved were involved in the earlier incarnation of Bulla Bulla Community when Peter Van Leishout then approached them and expanded on the concept of his own idea. And with that, I'm going to finish up on that bit of an explanation and leave it for the next video where I will look at more details on what is actually going on with all these, well, many parts of this complicated development application. Take it easy. Bye.